Hey guys, I want to go over product attributes and features. Now attributes are something we can assign to a product that gives the, the shopper um, some options when ordering. Um, an example would be size. Say if we were selling t-shirts, we would have size choices of small, medium, and large. Those are attributes. Um, so I want to create an attribute and also features are they're like attributes because you can assign them to certain products but they're not selections so uh, a feature would be um, maybe if someone was buying an iPad the feature would be the screen size which is something that you can't change so what I want to do now is add another product and I want to add a Dell laptop and we're gonna have a color attribute so the user can actually choose which color they want um, and also we'll add a feature let's say we'll add um, four gigabytes of RAM so we're not having a selection there it's just that's a feature of that laptop so let's go ahead and add a new product and we'll just say um, Dell Inspiron laptop and I'm just using Dell because that's the first thing that came to mind um, I'm not promoting Dell or saying it's better or worse than any other laptop it's just for um, just for this tutorial so we'll say this is a good laptop Alright, pricing, we'll add a retail price of five fifty. Shipping, let's add a, a let's add a weight of um, let's say we'll just say two pounds. Okay, now here we go, features. Now, if you want to set features and attributes, you first have to save the item. So we're going to click save. All right, and let's go ahead and just get a picture of a Dell Inspiron. Um, this one's fine. So let's upload that picture. Okay. All right, so now we'll go to features. And you can see there's some predefined features, um, height, width, depth. Let's add a new feature. Actually, let's save first so we save the image. Alright, so the feature will say memory. Uh, add feature values. So we want to check memory and click add new feature values. So we want to choose memory and we'll say um, 4 gigabytes. Save that. Okay, now if we go to the front end and click on our new product, let's see, where are the features? Oh, I'm sorry, we created the feature but we didn't link it to this product, so we just need to go into our product page. and go to features and you'll see we have memory and we can select now we could put a bunch of values in the memory feature so we can choose different values for different products we're going to choose the four gigabyte and save 
so if we go back to our product page and reload now we have now depending on the template you're using features can be displayed in different ways in this particular template they are displayed as a tab called data sheet and you can see we have a memory of four gigabyte so we can have as many features as we want for as many products as we want um, so it's a really um, it's a really nice feature of PrestaShop. Uh, one thing I notice is we have no stock in this product, so I'm just going to go in and change that. If we go to quantities, let's say we have uh, fifth. We'll say we have 50 of these. Save. And if we reload, now we now these are available for order. Uh, so the next thing I want to do is attributes. So let's go back. Let's go to catalog and let's go to attributes and see what we have. So we already have a few attributes here: disk space, um, color, ICU. Let's see. So color. So PrestaShop allows us to create three different types of attributes um, in how they display on the front end. We can do a drop down list, uh, radio button, or actual color as an actual type of attribute. Um, so I want to create a new attribute. And I was going to create a color, but we already have a color attribute. So let's create an attribute for the operating system that's installed on the laptop. So we want to click Add New Attributes, and we'll say uh, Operating System, same public name, and this is going to be a drop down. Alright, so now let's check operating system and check and go click on uh, add new values. Okay, so the attribute type that's we're choosing for our operating system. So let's choose our first option, which will be let's say Windows Vista. And then we can up here we can choose save and add another value. So that's what we want to click. Uh, next, let's say Windows 7. And Windows 8. And let's actually add one more. Let's add um, Linux Ubuntu. And we could just click Save. All right, so now we have an uh, operating system attribute with four different values. So let's go to our products and add that to the laptop. So if we go to combinations, we actually don't have an attributes tab like we have a features tab. So uh, we could create different combinations and have multiple attributes if we wanted to. Um, but we're going to just generate the one attribute we created. So you want to click on, um, let's do product combinations generator. Okay, so what we want to do, let's go over here and let's choose all our operating systems. You can do that holding down shift, select Windows Vista, hold down shift and click Linux Ubuntu and let's click add so it added the all the options here all the attributes and we can specify a price um, for each one so Linux Ubuntu is free and open source so let's not include let's not raise the price for that um, in Windows 8 you can see we can either include the tax or not we'll just say we're not going to include the tax. Um, for Windows Vista, we'll charge an extra fifty dollars. For Windows Seven, we'll charge a uh, hundred dollars. And for Windows Eight, 
will charge $150. So now we can click generate these combinations. We can also impact the weight. We can also add weight, but we're not going to do that. Uh, so now we have these options for our product. Uh, one thing I want to do first is go to quantities and specify how much of each product we actually have. I mean, how much of each attribute we actually have. Uh, so let's just say we have a hundred for each. And we can save. Now if we go to the front end, um, I'm sorry, we want no, we want laptops, laptops. And you know what? I don't think we chose a ca we didn't choose the laptop category for that product. So let's go ahead and do that. We have it in the home category. Uh, let's see. Category, category. Here we go. We want the laptop category will be the default. So now if we reload here, now we have the Inspiron available. And by default, if you remember we charged 550 for the laptop um, and we have Windows Vista as the default operating system which added $50. If we want to change to Windows 8, then it adds the 150, uh, Windows 7 adds 100, and Linux Ubuntu is free so you can see it's um, very useful the price changes right away you don't have to save or anything it uh, just updates automatically uh, so that's really nice so I think that's it um, really easy to add attributes and features to your products uh, and it's just a, a really nice feature of, of PrestaShop so that's it for this section I'll see you in the next video